antibiotics are used to treat or prevent some types of bacterial infections. Now, however, their side effects are long debated and the debates of antibiotics only being prescribed to treat serious health problems and concerns of inflammatory bowel disease characterized by chronic inflammation of the GI tract is quite common. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I will be discussing about how antibiotics in the older population is a leading cause of inflammatory bowel disease. The more number of antibiotics prescribed to patients 60 years and older, the more likely they were to develop inflammatory bowel disease, suggesting that antibiotic use could explain some of the growth in Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis in older people. The researchers from this recent study reviewed prescribing records for people aged 60 and older who were newly diagnosed with an inflammatory bowel disease. The study looked at number of courses of antibiotics that were, that were prescribed to such population, how recently they had been prescribed in relation to the diagnosis and specific classes of antibiotics used. The study found that any antibiotic use was associated with a higher rate of inflammatory bowel disease and the risk went up substantially with each course. After one prescription, patients were 27% more likely than those with no antibiotic use to be diagnosed with an inflammatory bowel disease. Now with two courses, the risk rose to 55% and with three courses, it rose to 67%. However, with four, it rose to 96 and with five or more, seniors were more than 2.3 times, that is 236% more likely to receive an inflammatory bowel disease diagnosis than those who had no antibiotics in the previous five years. The relationship was found for all types of antibiotics except nitrofurantoin, which is commonly prescribed for UTI infections. Hence, it was concluded that antibiotics usually prescribed for gastrointestinal infections were the most likely to be associated with a new inflammatory bowel disease diagnosis. Therefore, the inflammatory bowel disease, which can easily be overlooked in this age group, should be considered, especially when there's a history of antibiotic prescriptions. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.